We're given a vector valued function, r of t, and asked to find parametric equations of a line tangent to r of t at the point nine comma three comma negative two natural log two. Let's begin by reviewing the parametric equations of a line in space. A line parallel to vector v with components a comma b comma c that passes through the point x sub one, y sub one, comma z sub one is given by the following parametric equations. So vector v is called the direction vector where a, b, and c are the directional numbers. Because we want our line to be tangent to the curve given by the vector value function, we can use a tangent vector for our direction vector to find our directional numbers a, b, and c. But before we do this, let's begin by determining the value of t that would give us this point of tangency. We want to determine what value of t would make four t to the third plus five equal to nine, which should be the same value of t that makes t squared plus two t to the fourth equal to three, which would be the same value of t that makes negative two natural log two t equal to negative two natural log two. So looking at the z component, notice how it's easy to see t would be equal to one. But again, to emphasize this, let's go ahead and perform the substitution and find r of one. So r of one would be equal to an x component of four times one to the third plus five. The y component would be one to the second plus two times one to the fourth and the z component would be negative two natural log two times one. So again, notice how this vector does have the terminal point at the point of tangency, which would be nine comma three comma negative two natural log two. This is important because once we find r prime of t, we'll have to find r prime of one to find the tangent vector at that location. So now let's find r prime of t which will give us our tangent vector. So for r prime of t, the s component would be the derivative of four t to the third plus five. With respect to t, that would be twelve t squared. The y component would be the derivative of t squared plus two t to the fourth. That would be two t plus eight t to the third. The z component would be the derivative of negative two natural log two t. We could use a log property to write this as a sum, but let's go ahead and find the derivative using the chain rule. So we'd have negative two times one over two t times the derivative of two t, which would be two. Notice how this does simplify to just negative two divided by t. So again, r prime of t would have an x component of twelve t squared, a y component of two t plus eight t to the third, and a z component of negative two divided by t. And because we know the point of tangency occurs when t equals one, to find our tangent vector, we'll now determine the vector r prime of one. So r prime of one, again, will be our direction vector for our tangent line. So we'd have an x component of twelve times one squared, a y component of two times one plus eight times one to the third, and a z component of negative two divided by one. So our tangent vector, r prime of one, has an x component of twelve, a y component of ten, and a z component of negative two. Now we have all the information we need. Again, the point of tangency will give us x sub one, y sub one, and z sub one, which we know is nine, three, and negative two natural log two. And the components of the tangent vector give us our directional numbers, which are a, b, and c. So a is twelve, b is ten, and c is two. Of course, these are not unique. We could use any scalar multiple of this vector for our directional numbers. So the parametric equation of the tangent line would be x of t equals nine plus twelve times t, or twelve t. Y of t would be equal to three plus ten times t. 
and z of t would be equal to negative two, natural log two, minus two t. Remember, parametric equations of a line are not unique, but these are probably the most obvious parametric equations for our tangent line. Let's go ahead and verify this graphically. So looking at our graph, this black curve is given by r of t, our vector valued function. The point of tangency is this blue point here, and the red tangent line is graphed here in red. Notice how this does verify, our answer is correct. And this purple vector here is the tangent vector which we used for our directional vector or for our directional numbers. I hope you found this helpful.